I'm going to present you an Australian Aboriginal tribe named Pichanchachara. This tribe is mainly in the northwest of South Australia, but a small part of the tribe is in the Northern Territory, and an another one is in Western Australia. Pichanchachara is Anangu. They have place for their religious ceremonies. The most important one are Uluru and the sacred site of Katachucha. We find on these two sacred places more than 40 sacred sites and 11 paths Churkupa, path of dream. The first relations with the European pioneers were often violent. In 1921, Pichanchachara was deposited of their earth and made a request for a territorial reserve. They opened a reserve of 73,000 kilometers. Um, in 1950, Br British decided to make nuclear acid on the land of Maralingua, where live the Aborigines. And that had for consequence that many Aborigines had to travel. After a long campaign, Pichan Chachara opened land Maralinga and a financial support for the elimination of the nuclear waste. In 1981, after four years of negotiation, a law is voted which recognizes to the Pichan Chachara the property right for 103,000 km of their land. This recognition was little common at this time. Today there is still 40,000 Pichanchachara and they live in little communities. Among the Pichanchachara communities, we count Pukachar, Yalata, Maralinga, Charucha, the Amata, the Kalka, the Papariara, the Kalkukachara, and the Areyonga. Pichanchachara have, in spite of the influence of the Australian society, preserve the language and a large part of their culture but have partially abandoned their traditional lifestyle which rests essentially on the hunting. <laughs>